Hello everyone, it's Peony here, welcome back. Today's video I'm going to be showing you an inside look on the most recent sketchbook that I finished. This is actually my second sketchbook tour and I wanted to share all of the painting with you all. I did this front cover on my own and I drew it with acrylics to try and personalize it a bit. Okay, let's jump right into the painting tour. I wanted to try creating a welcome page to my sketchbook and welcoming you all to take a look inside the book. For this series, I used a 20 by 30 size sketchbook. I completed it within the last year, from May 2023 to May 2024, along with the previous sketchbook, which you can check out that video from the link above. For this illustration, I used black calligraphy ink, and I also played around with some topography. Starting with the first page is an illustration for a prompt I participated in for the Earth Day, and the theme of the first prompt was Among the Stars. The general goal of the prompt was to encourage the preservation of the environment, animals, and our beloved planet with our art. My illustration depicts me as a fox, summoning the ancient holy spirits with the melody of my flute, asking them to protect us and take care of our dear planet. I used both watercolor and colored pencils for this, by the way, and I chose a color palette that I think best would fit the mood of the piece. I just wanted this piece to be fun, inspirational, colorful, and positive. These colorful feathers painted with watercolors were super fun to make. The day I found them was one of pure joy and wonder. I was on a vacation with my friends, exploring a gorgeous forest. As we wandered through the trees, I spotted some of these beautiful feathers scattered on the ground. I couldn't help but collect them, knowing that they would make stunning painting. While I finished the painting in my workshop, the memory of the day remains fresh in my mind. The colors of the feathers, captured in all their glory, bring back the happiness and peace I felt during that wonderful vacation. I think this piece is a reminder of the beauty that can be found in nature and the wonderful memories that can be created when we take the time to appreciate it. The next page is a combination of different illustrations. I drew this whale with watercolors and colored pencils. I also added some flying fish in blue to match the color of the whale because I wanted to balance out the warmer colors I used at the top of the page. The bird on the branch was inspired by a do this in your style challenge that I participated in. I used colored pencils on top of it to give my version a bit more texture. A warm and cozy cottage on the hill, I painted with positive and bright colors using acrylic paint. And finally, a jumping fox. I love foxes, so I couldn't resist. I started this with a layer of watercolor, providing a fluid foundation, which I then enhanced with colored pencils. It's a funny and cute gesture to capture. On the next page, I drew one of my favorite fruits with watercolors. To enhance the composition, I filled the surrounding area with flowing lines drawn with colored pencils. I carefully selected the colors that harmonized with the avocado's palette, such as different shades of green, greenish yellow and brown. These lines echoed the avocado's core and dark green skin, creating a sense of unity and conveying the essence of this delicious fruit. My next illustration again for the Earth Day prompt was inspired by the theme Below the Water. I decided to draw an otter swimming through the depths of the ocean, discovering a sparkling and mysterious thing It leads to a magical flower at the end of the ocean. To enhance the composition, I added a variety of fish swimming around the otter. These elements help to complete the underwater scene and create a sense of movement and depth. I used flowing and colored lines to convey the feeling of the ocean and water, capturing the fluidity and beauty of the underwater world. On the other side of the page, I challenged myself to paint seashells using an unconventional color palette. I used really light washes of watercolor along with color pencils on top. My aim was to practice working with a limited color palette straying away from the traditional hues often associated with seashells. And on the right side over here, I drew a bunch of little small paintings to convey a feeling of bright and positive vibes. 
So I picked some random items like fruits, feathers, a hedgehog and an acron which again is done with a color palette that is not very common and typical. These are done by watercolor mostly and for some I used colored pencils on top. I really love those pages when you draw random stuff out of nowhere and they turn into a beautiful piece altogether. A small pomegranate and mushroom drawn with colored pencils and watercolors. Over here I drew a vintage photo frame of a cat that I absolutely love it. Again I used watercolor and colored pencils for this. A warm and lovely mountain hut drawn with positive and warm colors. Sparkly sunflower, a tea set and a cute broom belonging to a green witch who probably serves the earth and nature. On the right side you can see an illustration of two intertwined cats that seem to be spining in a circuit with positive and healing energy flowing from their hands. At first I intended to set the scene of this painting among the stars with one cat representing the moon and the other the sun or the symbol of yin and yang. However, I felt that this style had been done many times before and I have seen this style of painting a lot so I wanted to do it a little differently. That's why I chose the sea and fish theme for this piece. So instead of using black and white colors to symbolize day and night, I used cold and warm colors to symbolize different moods and emotions like sadness and happiness. To convey that miracles can arise from the balance between these two contrasting feelings, just as all things in nature and the universe seek harmony and balance. On the next page, you'll find three watercolor landscape paintings with a winter theme. Each painting shows a different winter scene, like a snowy forest in the daytime, a frozen one at night and a misty field in the evening. I wanted to capture the beauty and peacefulness of winter in these paintings and show how different it can look at different times of day. For my next illustration, I drew a garden fairy relaxing and chilling on a mushroom. It's like she's enjoying the beauty of the garden, happily watching her butterfly friends dancing around her. I used watercolor for this piece and I added some details with colored pencils. I wanted to capture the feeling of peace and tranquility that comes from being in nature and I think the garden very perfectly embodies that feeling. Two other landscapes entirely drawn with watercolors. The left side is a view of a lake that is covered in fog and the right side is a view of a winter forest where the low winter sun is trying to show itself through the leaves of the trees. For these paintings I use a limited color palette mostly using different shades of blue. I wanted to create a sense of peace of the nature in winter again and I think the use of a limited blue color palette helps to achieve that. On the next page I first drew a bird on a branch with colored pencils and then I thought about what could give a good composition to this page and evoke the feeling of the forest more. For this reason I drew a family of birds with watercolors and for this illustration I also used colored pencils on top. I think this one could be my most favorite piece among all of the artworks in this book. For my next illustration, I decided to paint a blue veil with watercolors again. I added a moon in the background using gold paint. And to make the painting look less empty, I drew some beautiful red flowers with colored pencils. I finished it off with some stars, sparkles and bubbles to complete the design. It's been a while since I wanted to draw a pack of animal heads, which I would later turn into a pack of stickers. I had animals like cats, dogs, birds, raccoons and bunnies in mind. So I decided to start this series with cats. And I think these four turned out gorgeous. I love them all very much and I think they're all super cute. But if you ask me, I would say this one is definitely my favorite. I drew them entirely with polychrome colored pencils and I'm looking forward to try this challenge with the other cute animals. On the next page you will see a watercolor painting of a vintage door which I can say was the first painting I drew in this sketchbook. Sometimes I like to start my sketchbook from the end or from the middle. I don't know if anyone else does this. To fill the empty space at the top of the page, I added a tree branch with watercolor to give it a better composition. 
In this page, I drew several small cottages together, which gives the vibe of a small fairy tale village covered with raspberry and strawberry bushes. I really like the positive vibe of this painting. It reminds me of the storybooks that I used to read when I was a child, and it brings back strange and distant feelings in me. And here's a closer look of the little details of this piece. For the last page, you can see two illustrations here. On the right side, you see a muffin house that I painted with watercolors. Before I implemented the final painting in this book, I made several doodles and sketches in my practice sketchbook and chose the final design from among them. There should definitely be a bunny illustration in one of the pages of my sketchbooks. After all, I'm a bunny mom. This one was inspired by Beatrix Potter's art style since I'm a huge fan of her art and her cute bunny illustrations. I love them. I need more practice on these character styles, of course, but I think this one is quite lovely for my first try. So that's it. Well, feeling a sketchbook is always a beautiful feeling. So thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions or comments, put them down below. I hope to see you guys for the next video. Bye!